Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to graph uh, uncertainties in Excel. Okay, so we have here an example. Bob wants to know if the length of the pathway affects the time it would take for the ball to reach the endpoint. He used an instrument that would give the same amount of force for the ball to move. He did three trials for each length and recorded the time in seconds. So in here, I have placed all the all the data in Excel. So we have length, uncertainty of length, time one, time two, and time three, time average, and uncertainty in time. Also, I, I already placed the maximum slope for and minimum slopes the points and then the uncertainty of the slope so how do you make a graph so first of all select uh, length column for length and then time average so click and drag okay then press insert chart scatter Okay, there we could see the points. Let's make it bigger here. So here are the points. Then the next thing you would do is to add uh, a thread line. So what you do is uh, right uh, click on the point, then right click, add thread line. Uh, let's make it. Let's change it to a solid line. Then let's change it to a line. There we go. So here we have the the graph for the length and time average. So let's put that in our your axis titles. So let's add them. So in the bottom we have the length, length. Okay, then on the left side we have time, time. Oops. time. Okay, the next the next thing you would do is to add the uncertainties. So how to add them? You just add chart element, error bars, standard error. Then, okay, let's change the error bars for horizontal. Okay, click custom, specify value. So the x axis is the length. So let's add this one here. Okay, click and drag, enter. Same with the negative values. Okay, press OK. The values would change in the graph. Next, let's change the Y error bars, custom, specify value. Okay, uh, it's the time uncertainty. So click and drag. Same for both positive and negative. Okay. There, you would see the changes. Uh, the next thing we would do is to... Uh, Put the slopes, the maximum and minimum slopes. So here we have the points already, so we should just add them into the graph or the chart. So select data, click on the ch uh, right click on the chart, select data, add here, add click add, then the name. What's the name? Uh, let's put maximum slope, and then x values we have him. Here, oops, uh, wait, wait a minute, sorry, uh, okay, sometimes you might get stuck, so you just cancel and then press on the Excel. Okay, let's repeat that, uh, select data, add maximum slope then click on x values these are our values then for the y we have them here click and drag enter then 
we all we can also add the minimum slope at the same time so let's just add it minimum slope x values uh, they're here minimum slope x click and drag enter same with the y here all right so then let's press ok there we go uh, the points are here as you can see maximum slope here no point and then minimum next let's add the thread line for those points so click the maximum point click any uh, and then right click add thread line okay let's change that to a full line so here dash type there we go and then let's do the same for the minimum slope thread line there we have finished adding them okay. uh, next I'll show you how to get these uh, max and max slope what is the value of it so all you have to do is to uh, y y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1 same for the minimum uh, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 then you will get those values I guess as you can see here i11 is here yeah then it follows so i2 where's i2 it's here you just subtract it okay for the uncertainty of the slope you just subtract maximum slope and minimum slope over 2 you'll get the uncertainty of slope okay maybe we could change the chart name or add legends so to add the legend uh, click on the chart design add chart element and then legends you can put it anywhere I like to put it on top so there you can see uh, maybe series 1 is the uh, the one in the middle so let's call that slope I guess uh, to change the name select data right click on the chart select data and then change it here you can add it here so what's the name it's slope enter there we go it would change the name uh, for chart title we could also change that by just clicking on it so maybe it's a length versus time graph so just put that one yeah uh, well, what else uh, I think that's all yeah uh, maybe I can show you also how to solve for the time uncertainty so that would be uh, just the mean so the last for the data and then the first subtract them so here for example in first it's 3.24 minus 3.15 over 2 so you would get time uncertainty same for all these points you just subtract t3 minus t1 over 2 all right i think that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed and learned something new Thanks for watching and bye-bye.